Hello and welcome to History Pod. I'd just like to say a very sincere thank you to Mark Leiterman, whose support for History Pod on Patreon helps to keep the daily episodes like this being researched, recorded and released. If you would like to join Mark and lend your support to History Pod, you can find details at patreon.com forward slash history pod. Now, on the 11th of January 1569, the first recorded lottery in England was drawn. The concept of a lottery in which lots were drawn to determine a winner had been around for centuries before Queen Elizabeth I chartered a prize draw to raise money for the reparation of the havens and strength of the realm and towards such other public good works. The scheme itself was announced in 1566 at a time when England was seeking to expand its international trade. Income from the lottery was therefore used to fund improvements to the country's coastal infrastructure and to allow for the construction of new ships. Unlike most modern lotteries which seek to produce a profit, the value of Elizabeth's prize fund equaled the money raised through ticket sales. Each ticket was also guaranteed to win one of the available prizes, which ranged from silver plate and tapestries from the Queen's own collection to a jackpot of £5,000. However, the fact that the draw didn't take place until nearly three years after the scheme's introduction effectively meant that the Crown benefited from a three-year interest-free loan on all the money that had been made. 400,000 tickets were put on sale at the cost of 10 shillings each, a price that was far out of the reach of most ordinary people at the time, and which led to some forming syndicates in which they purchased a share of a single ticket. To entice buyers, all ticket holders were promised that they would be exonerated from any crimes they had committed, apart from murder, felonies, piracy or treason. The draw itself was made outside the west wing of the old St Paul's Cathedral in London. Sadly, the name of the grand prize winner has been lost to time, but ultimately the lottery paid off for Elizabeth. She was able to invest heavily in her navy and coastal defences, which proved vital in 1588 for the successful defeat of the Spanish Armada.